Merry Christmas everyone. Today we celebrate the fact that we've almost made it to the end of 2020 and I wanted to take some time today to open some gifts that were shared with me by viewers and to thank my viewers for being with me throughout this year. This year of all years it's really helped to have the supportive community. There were really only two things I wanted for Christmas this year and so far I've gotten both wishes. One was to be able to sleep in and my cats were very good about letting me sleep till 11 this morning. Might have been a little bit later than I planned on, but I'll take it. The other was to not have to work today. And thankfully I am off from my day job. I am off from my side business. And I guess I'll add a third wish. I wanted to be able to film this video without the cats interfering. And if you see some nudges to the tripod right now, that's Danny. She got pretty excited when I started setting this up. There was a ribbon on one of the gifts that she really decided she liked. And uh, after I pulled her away from that and put her on the floor multiple times, she got the hint that she's supposed to stay on the floor. But now she's bumping the tripod. So We're going to do the best we can with this. The others are sleeping. Normally they do pretty much sleep this time of the day. So 2020 marks almost the two-year point of me starting to do videos for this channel in earnest. I've been really happy with how the community has grown around it. I think that's the one thing I really didn't expect when I started the channel was that you'd actually make real-life friendships with people. But that's what's happened, and in 2020 that has meant more than ever, uh, given that most of us are pretty much stuck in our homes or at least strongly encouraged to stay there and if we do travel it's just local day trips I certainly never expect anything in my view uh, here we go Cut. now I am filming this on the afternoon of Christmas and I know at least a couple people have said that they sent gifts which have not been received yet uh, Pennsylvania, like most places in the country, the delivery services, FedEx, UPS, the Postal Service, they are all overloaded. And Danny is back to claim her ribbon. Instead of doing retakes on this, I'm going to leave some of her antics in there because clearly she wants to be on camera. She wants to be on camera more than I do. So there's been delays with the delivery service. I think everybody's experiencing it. Um, if you've sent something, thank you in advance for that. And when I do receive the packages, I will put uh, together other videos to thank people. If somebody's going to go through the, the time and the effort to send something, I definitely want to thank them for it. So without further ado, let's see what our viewers have sent this year. I think we're going to have more of a blooper reel from this than actual footage. So we'll start off with this postcard from my good friend Dennis. Dennis has a channel called Boondocking with Dennis, formerly called Dennis 78382. Dennis lives and works out of his Ford F-150 and usually stays in the Corpus Christi and Rockport, Texas area. And Dennis has a really good channel. I encourage everybody to check it out. I'll put links to everybody's channel in the description below. And this card says, Howdy Jamie, greetings from Port Aransas, Texas. Stay safe. Hey, thank you for the lovely card, Dennis. I don't know if you can tell from the editing, I've already had to remove Danny from the table several times, so if things are shifting, that's why. Hopefully all this stuff's going to stay put. And Dennis was very generous to share two gifts with me this year. First is this lovely mug. So Dennis knows I love trains, and he knows I usually watch his videos while enjoying my morning coffee. So now I'm going to be able to enjoy my morning coffee out of a train mug that Dennis gave me while watching his channel. Thank you, Dennis. The second gift from Dennis is this adorable little train ornament. 
and it looks very much like the emoji that I put in probably 50% of the comments that I write to people. So I will find a better place to display that in the house, but we'll hang it on our little Christmas tree for this video. Really cool, Dennis. Thank you very much. I appreciate your friendship, and I appreciate your support of this channel, and I wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, friend. The next card and gift come from my sister, Vivian. And if you haven't seen her channel yet, you really ought to check it out. There's more trains, more bridges, more driving, more exploring. A lot of the same stuff that I enjoy. Her and I have a lot of the same passions, but she has her own twist on things. She does a lot of dead mall videos. Um, she covers an area that's a little different to the one I usually do. She gets to more of the Easton and Phillipsburg area than I do. And she also gets over to New Jersey more often than I do. Um, she's got some recent videos of New Jersey transit trains that you might enjoy, along with some of the buildings and architecture of that region. She is also the partner for my second channel, Philly Blast. And quite frankly, she's done about 95% of the work, probably more, on the Philly Blast channel, whereas I've ha handled the website aspect of it more. And if these fellows look familiar, you might recognize them from my Phillipsburg Mall video that I did around last year this time. The star and the moon, along with a couple freaky faces, were artwork from the former Cafe Europa at Phillipsburg Mall. And her and I have quite a fascination with them. They're kind of creepy, but they're also kind of lovable all at the same time. Uh, the real versions have unfortunately now been demolished. But um, she hand-painted this card for me. This is the coolest Christmas card I have ever received in my life. Uh, she hand-painted this with acrylics. And the shape of the star and the shape of the moon, they lend themselves perfect to Santa hats. I mean, this is just absolute perfection. And I'm really appreciative of the time and the effort that went into this. So she has been kind enough to put together a custom 2021 calendar for me. I'm not going to flip through it because uh, she does copyright her photos. And it only occurred to me just now as I'm filming this that maybe I should have asked her permission before putting this up here. But um, thank you very much for the calendar. That's something I will enjoy throughout the year. And... Um, Thank you for inspiring me to make my own, which I have shared with some people this year. So the last card and gift comes from my dear friend Barbara. Barbara's been a friend for going on a decade. Uh, she's a former colleague. She's a fellow Star Trek fan. And uh, she does watch some of the videos on this channel. And I know her brother's been enjoying some of the train videos. Uh, she does not have a channel of her own, so there won't be any link. But thank you anyway, Barbara starts with this beautiful hand-drawn envelope and a pretty amusing card inside. And I'm not going to read the insides of these cards from some people because they do contain somewhat personal messages. Uh, but thank you nonetheless for sending them. And lastly, we have this beautifully wrapped gift from Barbara, which was the source of Danny's fascination with the ribbon. I actually don't like to let her play unsupervised with ribbons. That is a hazard for cats, but we'll let her play a little bit later under supervision. I'm probably too neat about unwrapping gifts, but when somebody wraps something this nice, you kind of hate to just tear into it. And Barbara knows I am a very avid reader. I forget if I had actually mentioned this book to Barbara or somebody else, but this is on my list of books I wanted to get. It's called Daring Greatly by, I hope I'm pronouncing this right, by Brene Brown. How the Courage to be Vulnerable Transforms the Way We Live, Love, Parent, and Lead. Author of The Gifts of Imperfection, and I Thought It Was Just Me. 
So as, as Barbara probably knows better than most of my viewers, I'm going through a lot of changes in my life right now. Mostly good, mostly career related, but also very stressful and difficult at the same time. And I very much look forward to reading this book, Barbara. Thank you very much. And thank you for being one of my real world friends who has actually converted to watching my channel as well. Uh, most of my viewers, it's gone the other way. They've started watching my channel and then become real world friends. But hey, it's all good. It's 2020. That's how we do things. So each year I do try to treat myself to one decent sized gift, you know, my own personal indulgence, something to enjoy, particularly on Christmas Day. This year, being 2020 and being that not only have we been deprived of a lot of enjoyment, but quite frankly I've also saved a lot of money on fuel and other expenses, eating out, I figured I could splurge for two gifts. They're both train related. I know I mentioned them in my driving video last Saturday, and I'd like to share them with you here because they will both be the subject of upcoming videos. So the first, which I did talk about at more length, is a new N-Gage starter set. Uh, this is made by Kato, which is one of the better brands in model railroading. It's the Amtrak Genesis trains, which are still currently in use. I have not gotten a video of a real one yet. They do run on the Northeast Corridor through Philadelphia. When you drive through Philly, when you drive past the yards near 30th Street Station, you see a lot of these. And if I get to go out to Horseshoe Curve next year, they do run an Amtrak train uh, through there twice each day. I believe the Genesis is about to be upgraded to something else. I'm not quite familiar with what. But I thought this would be a neat set to start with. I really debated between this one and the Santa Fe set. I really like the Santa Fe set too. But I also like the idea of having trains that I see in action near me and I'm personally familiar with. And like so many things in 2020, I spent about two weeks shopping for a train set and I kept returning to stores and noticing their inventory was declining. I was going to buy the older Amtrak set that had... Um, you know, the more rounded single deck cars that I used to see run as a kid and a more conventional diesel engine. I'm not sure the model number on it. But in the time that I hesitated about buying, that one sold and there were very few of these left to be found. So I decided to go for it while the opportunity was there. I do want to do an unboxing video on this for this holiday weekend and set up. It does come with a controller and a starter loop of track. Uh, this kind of track that snaps together mainly just to make sure it runs. Hopefully I don't have to do a return or exchange. Long term this is going to be the start of a new layout which I'm going to put in my basement and it's going to have to go down there because you can imagine Danny and the other cats what they'll do to it if it's up here. I don't have a door up here in the loft to keep them out of. So hopefully this winter I'm going to be able to clear a spot in the basement. My basement like so many people's is just used for storage and right now it's a complete disaster area. Hopefully I'm going to find the time this winter to simply clear a space, set up a table. This way I can have this set up permanently. Uh, I mentioned last week I want to get out my old trains, be able to run those, share those. Um, longer term, I do want to get the basement partially finished and I do want to start building a proper layout with proper bench work. And this is just going to be the start of it. Um, I'm not going to put any time frame on it. It's probably going to be one of the slowest moving projects I have in the next year or two. I have a very busy spring coming up with a couple client projects and two more classes that I'm going to be taking. So this is really going to be slow going, but, um, you know, Model Railroad is never done. So there's no rush with it. And it's something that just as I build it over the years, I'll be able to share it with the channel. But I should be able to get an unboxing video out there, hopefully within the next week. I'm probably going to film it today or tomorrow, but I've got a few things in the queue for you guys, so we'll see when I get it posted. Now the other gift to myself, which I did not reveal in last week's video, I said I'd surprise you. Some of you might be able to start putting two and two together to take a guess. So I thought this would be the perfect year to combine my love of Legos with my love of trains. And with that in mind, I couldn't resist buying this beauty. This is a new set that came out sometime in the summer and when I first saw it on LEGO's website I just about jumped out of my skin. I thought it was my favorite train in the world, the GG1. 
They used to run on the Northeast Corridor. However, upon closer inspection, I said this train is nothing like a GG1. It is electric. You do have the pantographs on the top. But it's articulated. This train is actually three different sections. And it has the driving rods that you more commonly see on a steam locomotive. Whereas the GG1 has the trucks that you would normally see on a diesel. Longer ones, I believe. And the GG1s are not articulated. But nonetheless, it captivated me, and I thought maybe it was just a train. They call it the Crocodile Locomotive. I thought it was maybe something they just made up, but I started doing my research, and this is actually a real electric train that used to be in use in Europe. I believe Sweden, and now I already forget what other countries. I'll give more information when I get to the video on building this and reviewing this. But needless to say, I thought it was too cool to pass up. Um... I have continued to build Legos my whole life. I've never outgrown them, and I really like that Lego as a company in recent years has started to put out sets geared towards adults. Um, I have a couple sets in the Lego Architecture series, which I love very much. This is my first Lego train. It's almost hard to believe that I have never gotten into Lego trains yet. The kit itself is just the static model of the train. It has a nice display base with the track. It has a nice plaque. But it doesn't come with lighting, it doesn't come with an engine, or motor I should say, an electric motor. It is compatible with the LEGO train sets, you can run it on the regular LEGO train sets. Um, at this time I chose not to buy the motor and the light set, uh, just because I anticipate for now uh, displaying it as a static model. When I do get around to clearing out some of the basement for the N-Gage set, who knows, I might decide to build a small Lego railroad with it, even though they're nowhere near the same scale. Uh, some train fans um, unofficially call the Lego L-Gage. So this is just the train itself, and these are the sets you would buy the electric motor and the lights individually. It's interesting, this train, you know, is the same, it's symmetrical, so forward and reverse. Uh, it's interesting here, I just noticed this. It says, ready for powered up, smart device required but not included. Hey, how cool would it be if this included a new iPhone? I guess that's asking too much. Um, so I guess it means I'm going to have to look into that. I guess that means I can actually, if I buy the motor and the controller, I, I guess this means I can drive this train with my phone. That would be pretty cool. Uh, it's 20 and a half inches long, 6 inches high. After I build it, needless to say, I'll have to put it where the cats don't demolish it. I've made a personal tradition out of building a Lego set every Christmas day. I'm going to start it today, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to finish it today. It's 1,271 pieces. That's a lot of Legos. But you can look for a build video of this in the queue in the coming days. And I will do a full review and let you know how it went. So I just wanted to say a final thank you to everybody who sent gifts. And even if you didn't send any, that's cool too. Thank you for watching this channel. Thank you for your friendship and support. And I wish you a Merry Christmas, a Happy New Year, and let's hope for a better 2021 for all of us. Stay safe, friends. Merry Christmas.